Hey everyone, this is Brandon from Revolutions TV and Emerald Productions. And what this tutorial is going to basically teach you how to install AutoTune VST plugin on FL Studio 8. Um, it should work on any other version of FL Studio, um, at least the newer ones as I know. I have done it before. This one is for Vista mainly because a lot of people have been having problems of how to install AutoTune on it because when they open it up, they follow all the steps I've seen it. And when they open it up, it comes up with saying they're missing a DLL file. So basically, I'm going to show you how to install and fix that problem on Vista. So um, what you're going to do is go to, when you install AutoTune, it's going to automatically create a subfolder in your Program Files folder. So you're just going to go to Computer, Program Files, and then scroll down. Um, make sure you already have FL Studio, just letting you know. You can also use Cubase. I've heard my friend uses that. Uh, but yeah, let's get back to this. And you're going to go to where it says VST Plugins. And then you're going to see that they have the Autotune VST. And there's another folder in there. I forget what it's called. I'll probably see it when I'm going back up. But you can read like the README about it and everything. Um, so make sure you have that copied. Go to Program Files. And then scroll up till you see Image Line. And open that up. Go to FL Studio 8 Plugins. VST and then I already have it installed in here but I'm just going to show you and then you're going to paste it in here I'm just going to say copy and replace I'm going to click that just so you know it's legit and all that and then exile the folder then you're going to go to FL Studio open it up okay now it's open let me you're going to go to you're going to make sure you have your mixer open Whoa. To do that, watch, let me just close this. I think it's this one right here. Yeah. Click these little bar looking ones, and you're going to click one of these drop down menus and choose Auto Tune, and then you do all your settings. But most people are having, right when they click Auto Tune, well, actually, yours won't be in there. I'm sorry. Yours won't say Auto Tune right here. You're going to have to click More, and then you, all, these are all the plugins and stuff that come with if you have any other plugins that are on your computer such as I have Sony Vegas so it comes up with all my Sony Vegas stuff and I have Mixcraft so what you're going to do you're going to click refresh and do the fast scan and it's going to scan your whole all your plugins and whatnot and if you don't know me I like that word a lot whatnot so and then you're going to see two of them you know mine chose two I don't know why but just make sure you have one selected with like a little I don't know like an F or E whatever the hell it's supposed to look like and then it will then you click the drop down menu and your auto tune should show up Oops. And your auto tune shall show up. There we go. Um, but a lot of people have been having problems that theirs isn't showing up when they do that. So there's something totally. They're saying that they're missing DLLs, and I've seen people tell or people told me that they want to go download them, and then it just says another DLL is missing. So what you actually have to do for Vista, you actually have to go to your Start or the Windows button in Vista, and go to Control Panel, and let's wait till it loads up. Do, do, do. It's taking a while. I don't know why. Because I have Camtasia running, probably. All right, now it's up. You're gonna scroll down. I have mine on Classic View. I don't know if you can see it on Control Panel Home. If you can't, go then go to Classic View and you'll see it. And you're gonna open up the System One thingy. I can't even say it's a folder because it's not a folder. And then you're going to click Advanced System Settings, and you're going to click OK when it pops up. Or Continue, my bad. Whatever. And, okay, wait for the um, new window to pop up. And make sure you're on the Advanced tab, and then you're going to click Performance. And then you're going to see this don't change any of this you're gonna go to data execution prevention and you'll see here I have multiple stuff already in here because Vista doesn't allow certain things to run thinking it could be a virus or some other stuff but uh, as you can see right here security threats um, I don't know oh crap oh, okay there we go um, sorry um, but see I have Vegas Mixcraft um, Grand Theft Auto FL Studio and After Effects because they all think that they're a risk to my computer so what you're gonna do to make sure FL Studio runs correctly and allowing you to use AutoTune with it you're gonna have to click add and then you click the little drop down menu you probably get to it through there faster and you're
you're going to go to your C drive or wherever you have um, FL Studio um, installed on what drive. You're going to go to Program Files and you're going to go to the Image Line folder again. Image Line. And then FL Studio 8 again. And then you're going to. Most likely you're gonna have to. Most likely you're gonna have to use the um, open up the FL three GB, or and then if that doesn't work for you, leave it open still like inside like the data execution prevention window, like in the um, the box or whatever, so it's still in there. And then you're also gonna want if that doesn't work, and then you're gonna open this one with it, so they're both in that folder. And then after you do that, you click apply, and then you're gonna click OK, and then um, AutoTune should work perfectly after that. If you have any other questions, leave a comment or send me a message. So, yeah, more tutorials coming soon, I promise. As you can see right here on my desktop, I Photoshop and all the other Adobe programs. So, a lot of tutorials coming soon with all that. So, yeah. Um, rate, comment, tell me what you think. Peace.